Today I want to share a home remedy with you for colds and flu that only uses four simple ingredients and can be ready in a minute. Hi sweet friends, I'm Mary and welcome to Mary's Nest where I teach traditional cooking skills for making nutrient-dense foods like bone broth, ferment, sourdough, and more. So if you enjoy learning about those things, consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to click on the little notification bell below that'll let you know every time I upload a new video. When I was a little girl, whenever I started to show signs of the sniffles, my mother would throw together this little home remedy for me to take. Chances are you have all of this in your pantry. All you're gonna need is one lemon, about a four inch piece of ginger, and if you don't have fresh ginger, that's fine. You can use the powdered ginger as well. And then you're gonna need about four cloves of garlic and a little honey to sweeten. And this is the perfect thing to make if you've not made your elderberry syrup or you've not made one of your tonics like fire cider that require steeping and time before they're ready to take. If you're just feeling a little under the weather and you want something to bring you some comfort, you can have this ready in about a minute. Now we're gonna use the whole lemon and what I've got here is an organic lemon, but don't worry if you can't get an organic lemon. Uh, usually what I do if my produce isn't organic, I give it a little scrub, scrub with a little baking soda, maybe mixed with a little vinegar and wash it best I can and just proceed on with my recipe. Now if you're using fresh ginger, and whether it's organic or not organic, for this particular recipe, I really do like to peel it uh, because I feel that the skin left on uh, can just be a, kind of a little unusual feeling in your mouth if it's left on, even if it's pulverized. So that is your personal choice, but I would recommend if you're using fresh ginger to peel it. To start, what I'm gonna do is just take a little bit of that tip off of the top of the lemon and the stem. And we're just going to start cutting this lemon up into various pieces. And as we go and we see any seeds, we're just going to remove the seeds. Now the lemon juice is very high in vitamin C and the pith, this white part, and the rind, the zest, uh, also contain various compounds that are antiviral, antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, and can help comfort you if you are feeling a little under the weather. And now once we get the seeds out, we just wanna go ahead and start cutting this up into rel just chunks, you know, about an inch or two is fine. And I just want to say that home remedies are wonderful. You know, as you know, I love traditional foods and I love home remedies. But if you are under the weather, uh, definitely consult your doctor or your other healthcare professional. Uh, because I also believe that uh, there are times when we need uh, modern medical attention. And I like the idea of the integrative approach where you take advantage of what modern medicine can offer, but then you also have some home remedies to give you comfort while you're recovering. Next, we're just gonna take all of our chopped lemon and add it right into our blender. And you can use any kind of blender. I'm just using a regular blender, but if you have one of those high-speed ones, you can certainly use that too. And I'm just gonna go ahead and scrape in any little last bits of juice that are on my cutting board. And next I've got my ginger here. About a four or five inch piece is fine. And you can use a spoon to scrape off the skin. It's very easy to do. I especially like to use a serrated grapefruit spoon, which makes the job even extra easier. So once I get all this skin off, then we'll just chop this up and we'll throw it into the blender. Now, once you get your ginger all peeled, all we're gonna do is just cut it up and just into little pieces. Again, this is not an exact science, just any, it's about half an inch or so, just something that you think will pulverize well in your blender. And we'll just go ahead and throw that in with our lemon. Next, you wanna prepare your garlic, and all you're gonna do is cut off the root. Just get that root out of the way. And then we're gonna give this a smash and remove the skin. And then you can just give this a little bit of a rough chop. And again, just like we did with the ginger, we'll throw this right in with our uh, lemon. And then we'll continue on with the rest of these garlic cloves. 
Now, depending on the size of your lemon and how juicy or not juicy it may be, I like to start with about a half a cup of water. So I'm just going to go in and add in about a half a cup. I've got a total of two cups here. I don't think we'll need all of that. I'm just going to start with about a half a cup and we're going to start blending this and we'll see if it's blending well great if it seems to be struggling a little then we'll just add in a little more water but we're going to want to blend this maybe for about a minute or two depending on the speed of your blender the strength of your blender until it's like a fine pulp Alrighty, well that took about a minute and we didn't have to add any extra water that half a cup was perfect and now basically what we have is a thick sort of lemon puree. Now the next thing that we want to do is just pour this into a measuring cup to measure how much we have. Well, as I'm taking this out, it just smells wonderful. And I wanted to mention that don't worry, you don't have to write any of this down because I will have a link in the description below that'll take you over to my website, which is the same name, Mary's Nest, and that'll be a direct link that'll take you right to this printable recipe. And if and I'll also have the information if you're using the powdered ginger or the ground ginger from your uh, spice cabinet instead of the fresh ginger. You're going to probably use anywhere from a teaspoon to a tablespoon. Uh, depending on the strength of the ginger that you have. If it's been in your uh, cabinet a while and is a little on the older side, you probably have to use a little more. But you're going to love the fragrance of this. The ginger helps compensate for the garlic. <laughs> well, this looks like we have just a scotch more than a cup and a half. So at this point, you have some options. You can store this as is in your refrigerator in a jar and when you feel the sniffles coming on, you can take a teaspoon of this. And you can take this a couple of times throughout the day. If you're a brave soul, you can take a full tablespoon of it. And this will stay fresh and potent in your refrigerator for about two weeks. But what I like to do, uh, which is what my mother did to make it more palatable, was to add honey. And I like to add equal amounts, and that's why I measure what I have. So since I have about a little more than a cup and a half, to this I'm going to mix a cup and a half of honey. And you want to just use some type of pourable honey. And if you have raw honey, all the better. Now another option you can do before mixing this with any honey is to take an ice cube tray and just pour a little bit into each ice cube holder and then freeze this. And then once they're frozen, you just pop them out and put them into a freezer storage bag or a freezer container. And that way you've got those in your freezer and they'll last a year. And whenever you feel the sniffles coming on, you can just pull out one of the cubes, let it defrost, and you can take it straight as it is at that time or mix it with just a little bit of honey. So I'm going to take a taste of this as is <laughs> and I'll let you know exactly how it tastes. Mmm, That's got a kick to it. It's really not that bad and definitely you taste the garlic, you taste the ginger, and you taste all of the lemon, the pith, and the, and the zest. It's all there, but it's really quite manageable. But I must confess, I do like it better with the honey, and I'll show you what I like to do. So I'm going to put this spoon aside, and I'm going to take a clean spoon, take some of our lemon mixture, and then I'm going to go in here and get a little bit of our honey. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and add that in. And now I'll tell you what that's like. Alrighty, I'm just going to give that a little mix. Oh, it smells good with the honey. See how this is. Mm. <laughs> that's a very pleasant addition. I highly recommend using honey. So if you want to make this in advance and have it on hand, just freeze it in little portions, as I mentioned. If you're feeling a little under the weather right now, make a batch up, take a couple of teaspoons throughout the day or tablespoons, or go ahead and mix it with honey. If you want, you can mix the whole batch at one time and just store it in a jar together with the honey and the lemon mixture all mixed together. 
but if you think you might not use that uh, within the next couple of weeks, then just keep them separate and mix them together when you're ready to take them. Well, if you feel the sniffles coming on, I hope you'll give this easy and quick home remedy a try. And if you'd like more home remedies, be sure to click on this video over here, where I show you how to make elderberry syrup, rosehip syrup, and an herbal homemade cough medicine. And I'll see you over there in my Texas Hill Country kitchen. Love and God bless.